I was doing a ride along with one of my advocates and when we first pulled up to the Coleman house, I noticed by their mailbox they had a little flag that was for childhood cancer. They were very open and shared what they were going through with the care of their daughter. John and Laura do woodcrafting kind of as a side project just to take their mind elsewhere. Brooke and the gentleman that were with her it made the process of of receiving the car super easy. She asked us, you know, why we were getting a new vehicle and we told her and we could tell right off the bat that she was caring of our story. October 2019, we found a bump in her leg. It was diagnosed as osteosarcoma. We wanted to make sure we had a good dependable vehicle because we go to Birmingham constantly, sometimes five, six times a month. It's just become normal. It's just like, go up to Birmingham, and then get chemo, and then feel kind of bad for a few days, but then you're fine, and then just go on with your life, and then do it all again. And it's just become routine at this point. I don't like it, but I mean, like, I have to deal with it. We've now been on this chemo regimen since March. It hasn't started shrinking yet, but it has stopped growing, so we're very hopeful. Kara had a fundraiser. One, it was to raise awareness, but also just get the community together to support their family. I was very close to just kind of calling off the fundraiser. It was gonna cost a lot of money to get all the supplies. Within 24 hours of me telling my wife that, I heard from Brooke, and then I heard from the guy that does our lawn, and he had somebody that wanted to donate all this meat. I submitted it to the Passion Project just to see if there's anything we could do. We're able to purchase all the supplies for that fundraiser, the tablecloths, the napkins, plates, go boxes, cutlery. It was really cool that we were able to donate to that and let them kind of forget and worry about that portion of the event. To be able to have a day where she was the main focus and everybody was there for her, it, it really did lift her spirits a lot and it was really nice to see her smile that day. It felt overwhelming. It was just like, all of these people are here to see me and support me, and it feels like special, like I'm known. We raised more than we had hoped to raise. The most positive thing about what she's going through is the love and the support from the community and just people, how they see a problem and they just want to help. It was amazing that everybody just came together for her for that day. and. It was really special, and it was a day that none of us will ever forget. Hey everyone, it's me, Kara. I wanted to make this special for everyone at Carvana and say thank you for your support and help making our fundraiser possible.